to juma masora ru assalamu alaikum barka mu da rana fauzi ya dauda ke farin cikin kasancewa da ku a zango na biyu na shirye-shiryen da muke gabatar muku daga nan sashen Hausa na DW bayan labarin duniya a jihar rahotannin da muka muku ta na di za ku ji cewa yan Najeriya na kara ganin alamu na cin hanci da rashawa a majalisar dattawar kasar ka kasafun kudi na bana bayan zargin cushen kudi cikin kasafun ya bar baya da kura a jihar Kaduna kuwa wasu kauyuka ne suka fara zama kufai bayan da aka kai wasu sabbin harahare wanda suka biyo bayan wato wanda aka kai a garin kurga a Kenya kuwa ra'ayoyi sun bambanta dangane da aniyar da gwamnatin kasar ta bayyana ta aikawa da daruruwan jami'an tsaro musamman ma yan sanda zuwa kasar Haiti wadannan da masu batutuwan za su zo bayan zahar din Umar Rutsan Kura ya gabatar da labarin duniya W labarun duniya Shugaba Putin ya bugi kirji kan karfin makaman nukiliya na Russia da yace sun zarta na Amurka Bankin Afirka ya nuna damuwa kan tsarin biyan bashin da Afirka ke yi wa manyan kasashen duniya da albarkatun kasa Kotu a Rwanda ta haramtawa jagora a jagora a dawa tsayawa ta kara a zaben shugaban kasa Shugaba a uh, wato shugaban Russia Vladimir Putin ya jinjina wa kasar kan karfin makaman nukiliyar da yace take da shi ina mai gargadin cewa Russia a shirye take ta fara amfani da wadannan makamai ma damar aka taba mutuncin kasar sa gargadin na shugaba Putin na zuwa ne yan kwanaki gabanin babban zaben kasar da za a gudanar wanda tuni aka kammala hasashen shugaba Putin ne zai lashe zaben ba tare da wata tangar da ba a cikin wata hira ta musamman da akai da shi a kafar yada labaran Russia Putin ya bugi kirji yana mai cewa no sa vayna tehnička točka zrenja ma konačno gotovo Putin ke nake cewa mun shirya amfani da makaman nukiliya kuma makaman mu sun fi karfin na manyan kasashen duniya namu da na Amurka ne kadai suke dede kuma mun shirya wato mun yi nisa wurin inganta makaman namu Kalaman na shugaba Putin din na zuwa ne yan sa'o'i bayan da dakarun Ukraine suka kai wa matatan Peter na Moscow wani mummunan hari wanda masu shari kuma ke ganin haka ne yasa shi Putin din baraza na fara amfani da makaman nukiliya Ukraine ta kaddama da hari na jirgi maras matuki a matatan Peter na Russia na marin da haddasa gobara a wata babbar matatar mai din a kasar tuni fadar mulkin Russia ta Kremlin ta fusata da lamarin inda ta ce yankuri ne na kawo rudani a babban zaman kasar da ta shirye gudanarwa na ba da jumawa ba a sama da shekaru biyu da aka kwashi ana fafata yakin Ukraine da Russia ko na bangare yayi amfani da jirage marasa matuka inda sukan kai wa juna harahari a manyan gine gine da na cibiyoyin soji kafin daga bisani yanzu suka bujuro da tsari ko kuma yayin sabon hari na kai wa matatun Peter Parmaki sai da hukumar Russia sun ci a bayan bayan nan sun yi nasarar lalata jirage marasa matuka guda 30 da suka shigo kasar daga iyakar su da Ukraine labaran duniyar na zuwa muku ne kai tsaye daga nan DW za kuma ku iya sauraron mu idan kuka je shafin mu na internet dw.com/hausa har ma da shafin mu na Facebook da YouTube shugaban bankin bunkasa kasashen Afirka a kin wami adin shino yayi kira ga kasashen nahiyar da su kawo karshen karbar rance daga manyan kasashen duniya da ke bukatar su biya bashin da ma'adanan kasa a maimakon kudin da suka karba a yayin da yake magana da kamfanin dalancin labaran Faransa AFP a Birnin Lagos na Najeriya a Kinwomi ya ce wannan tsari ba shi da kyau domin babu wata hanya da ake iya alkinta farashin albarkatun kasar da kasashen Afirka ke baiwa manyan kasashen na duniya wajen biyan ba su sukan da suka karba a irin wannan tsari ba su suka irin wannan ne dai ake gani suka zama dalilin karfin ikon da kasar China ta samu da wuraren hakar ma'adinai daban-daban na kasar Congo da murin da yake ƙara jefa kasashen Afirka cikin fatara wata kotu a Rwanda ta haramtawa jagora a dawa kasar kuma fitacciyar mai sukar gwamnati Victoria Ngebere tsayawa ta kara a zaben shugaban kasa da aka tsari gudanarwa a watan yuli dake tafi kotun ta ce ta same ta da lefuka masu nasaba da ayyukan ta'addanci da aikata kisan kiyashi 
sai da siyasar ta yi watsi da hukuncin tana mai zargin an yi mata shar'a mai cike da san zuciya wadda tayi zargin shugabannin siyasa na Rwanda suka bai wa kotu umarnin aiwatarwa kafin shekara ta 2018 lokacin da shugaban kasa yayi mata afuwa sukar gwamnati da take yi ta janyo mata zaman gidan kaso na shekaru 8 tunda dai aka fara hasashen shugaba Paul Kagame zai yi nasaran lashi zaben a karo na hudu dake zuwa da wa'adin shekaru 7 to jama'a ƙarshen labaran duniyar ke nan amma ina ga yatar ku ku je shafin mana internet dw.com/hausa domin samun ƙarin bayani kan wasu daga cikin labaran da mawasu a shafin namu yanzu zan mai da ku rin abokin aiki Fauziya Dauda to an gaishe da Zahardin Umar Dutsan Kura da ya fassara ya kuma karanto labaran duniya daga nan sashen Hausa na DW DW arkokin yau ta harkokin namu ne yanzu za a ji yadda a gana batun shekarun mataimakiyar dan takarar shugaban kasar na wato shugaban kasa na babbar jam'iyyar adawa ta NDC ke ta dakura muna ta fada shirye-shiryen abu namu da darasar rayuwa da kuma dandalin matasa amma kafin nan mu dauko tushen rahoton nan daga Nigeria a Nigeria da ya zargin cushe cikin kasafin kudin bana ya bar baya da kura a majalisar dattawan kasar lamarin da yan kasa ke ganin alamu na bada kalarcin hanci a majalisar cikin kasafi daga Abuja wakilmu Ubala Musa na dauke da karin bayani idan cewa dai majalisar ta ya nasarar dakatar da sanata Abdul Ahmed Ningi da ke zaman alola ta banka do almundahanar daga dukkan alamu tana da jerin tambayoyin amsawa a cikin likitin kudin da ke cikin ta yanzu a kalla naira miliyan 500 ne da aka sanya a cikin kasafin kudin kasar na shekarar bana domin amfanin kowane gura cikin wasu jigajigen ɗan barasar dattawan 34 shi kansa uban tafiyar kuma shugaban barasar dattawan taliyar Najeriya Gospel Apabio ya kai gida naira miliyan 2500 domin sanin generator ba da wuta da ma furjin sanyi a mazabar sa a wani abin da ke neman tabbatar da zargin farko sannan kuma ma'aunin irin dattun da ke a zauran yin doka na kan gaba a taliyar Najeriya sanata balana Allah ne na zaman tsohon ɗan barasar dattawa ta kasar ni ina iya tabbata maka ba haka muke yi ba ana tsayawa a yi adalci idan an kawo budget a duba sectorally da kowane geopolitical zone nawa aka yi mashi allocating kafin a zauna a san cewa ga abun da ma har za a iya cewa za a ba wani senator ya kai a mazabar sa wannan abun da ke faruwa ba abu mai dadi bane gare mu ga kasa amma muna fatan cewa abu wanda za su biyo daga baya za su ba yan Najeriya madogaran yin hukunci ga irin mutanen da za su zaba da kuma za a iya ba amana shugabanci sabo cikin karatun doka ko kuma wasu da dukiya ta kasa matakin dan dokar da na kara fito a fili irin girman likitin da ke gaban kasar da ke tunanin girma amma kuma shugabanni ta ke rawa da owan bai cikin da gwalan hanci sanata umar tsaulde ya taka rawa cikin zalan majalisar kuma ya ce sabon tsarin yana nuna alamun ilin shugabancin da ke a zalan majalisar yanzu haka wannan mantawa lokacin da ina sanat oba sanjo abun da ya ce mana shine kowane ya kawo project din da yake so a yi a constituency din shi a hana shi dan kungila dan kungila ya je ya yi mashi in ya tabbata abun yayi ya sign a je a biya shi amma ka sani cewa ita majalisa tana cin gashin kanta ne su ke yi maka su budget su ke yi maka su doka su je kashe kudin su da suke so saboda ka yan samu shugaban majalisa wanda ba wai kasa ke gaban shi ba a'a shi kan shi da sauran mutane shi gaban shi a samu masana kamar yadda aka samu yanzu yanzu a yanzu dai masu mulkin tarayyar Najeriya na da nisa a cikin karatun lallashin miliyoyin nan kasar da ke ji a jiki to sai da kuma tun ba kai ko ina bade ana shirin raba gari tsakanin yan mulkin da kungiyoyin kallo da ke fadin an saba a cikin tsarin demokradiya ta kasar a wani Musa Rafsan Jani da yana shugaban ta kungiyar Sislak mai kallon ayyukan yan doka a kasar kasafin kudi ba wai a amfani da shi ne dan a ba su wata togiya bane su shiru suna ganin yanda ake tafi da amanar gwamnati kuma ba za su iya magana ba saboda har ga an ba su tushiya wannan mu muna ga cewa ba demokradiya ce mafo abinda aka zabe su su yi bane saboda ka dole ne a tashi tsaye a kawo gyara akan yanda ake tafi da harkar demokradiya a Najeriya abin takaici shine akwai jam'iyu na adawa gaba ɗan su suma kusan a ce sun yi shiru sun kasa tashi tsaye sai tabbatar da kan cewa 
ba azalanci yan kasa ba abun jila gani dai na zaman ya tuke shirin kayawa alakan talakawa da ke kalta muke wajen na cikin karatun hakurin da masu mulki na kasar da ke dinkin muji a cikin rawar ta OMB ubalan Musa W Hausa daga Abuja a Nigeria to har yanzu ne muna a tarayya ta Najeriya amma yanzu a jihar Kaduna inda rahotanni suka yi nuni da cewa an sake kai wani hari a karmar hukumar Kajuru inda akai garkuwa da gwamnon mata kazalika an kai wasu hari hari bayan na garin kuriga da akai ko kuma da yan bindiga suka yi awan gaba da daruruwan dalibai lamarin da ya sanya wasu kauyuka sun fara zama kufai bayan da mazauna kauyuka suke kaura cewa matsagunnan su sakamakon barazan tsaro ta wayar tarho na tantabi wakilin mu na jihar Kaduna Ibrahima Yakubu inda ya bayyana mana halin da ake ciki a wasu yankunan Kaduna to tun da farko dai zan ce bayan sace dalibai 287 da aka yi a kauyen kuriga wanda har yanzu ba san halin da suke ciki ba a shekaran je ma labaran da muke samu yau shine an kai wani mugun hari a wani kauyen boda da ke a karamar hukumar Kajuru ta kudancin Kaduna a ko rahotannin da ake samu shine bayan an ta'addan sun kai hari sun tarwatsa mutane an fara samu rahotanni da suke fitowa cewa an yi garkuwa da mutane 30 zuwa 50 to a karshe dai sai mutanen garin bayan wayanda suka dawo bayan harin da aka kai sai aka gane mutun 72 ne suka bace a shekaran jiya litinin kenan sai dai mutane da suka ga harin gaba dai sun tarwa dai sun shiga daji a jiya jiya talata kenan da safe cikin wadanda ake garkuwa da su din 72 mutun 23 sun dawo sannan kuma halin da ake ciki a jiyan kuma da yamma to a yanzu wani hali ake ciki ne a garin Kajuru bayan da aka sanar da cewa an sace gwamman mata a jiya a garin duk da jami'an tsaro suna ta kokarin su amma shine yanzu ma bayanan da ake ta samu shine bayan an kawo harin mutane da dama sun tarwatsa cikin daji domin mutane yanzu ba tai sun jira an kawo musu daki ba daga sun jifar kai kowa ke ga cikin daji sannan kuma sai wanda suka dawo ne dan wasu sun dawo su har yanzu ba a san ma ina suke ba kin san yana yin muzana mazauna karkara to yaye ne yin tsaro a yankunan da aka wato kai wadanna hari hari da ma garuruwan da suke kewaye da su to ko ko idan muka fara da kauyen kuriga da aka ce an kai an kwashe dalibai ko shekaran jiya mazauna karkaran sun kira suna sanar da mane ma labare cewa sun ga mutane da babur kusan 20 sun zo sun faka kusa da garin suna ta murza babur a kusa da garin kenan ba su shiga garin ba amma dai sun tayar da kura sannan kuma ko anan me yake da suna garin Gorungura nan ma an dauki mutane garin Gora dake akan hanyar Kaduna zuwa Abuja nan ma an kwashi mutane da ake batun ana san su biya kudin diya sannan kuma can ma bayan in fact in kuka lura da bayan garuruwan Kaduna ya mazauna kauyukan akwai barazana na ana ci gaba da a garkuwa da satar mutane lamarin da ke ci gaba da maida yawancin kauyukan bayan gari tamkar kufai gidajen gona da dama sun kaurace mazauna kauyuka da dama sun baro matsugunin su sakamakon wannan fargabar sata da garkuwa da 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 manoma lamarin da ke zama ta barazana ga harkar noma da kiwo da kuma ilimi to shin a halin yanzu wani irin mataki gwamnati da ma hukumomin tsaro suke dauka domin ganin cewa an samar da zaman lafiya tun bayan da aka kwashe daliban nan na kuriga da kuma wadannan da aka kara kai sababbin haraharan nan a wasu sassan kudancin Kaduna akwai rundunar sojojin Najeriya na sama da na ruwa da na kasa da muka ci karo da su a wadannan wurare sannan kuma ko ji akwai shugaban Hafsan yan sandan Najeriya da yazo Kaduna inda suke tattauna batutuwa daban-daban ne da za a tinkaru wannan kalubale da kuma amfani da kimiya da wasu hanyoyi da zamani har ma da hada hannu da dukkanin masu ruwa da take musamman yan sa kai domin ganin an tinkaru wannan batu gadan-gadan da kuma inda suke yin kira ga al'umma na wajen ganin sun rika kai rahotannin take-taken jama'a da ba su sabu gani ba a cikin al'umma to wakilin mu kenan a jihar Kaduna Ibrahima Yakubu rahotannin da yana zuwa muku ne daga nan sashin Hausa na DW kada ku banta za ku iya kasancewa da mu a shafukan mu na sada zumunta na Facebook da kuma Instagram ko kuma ta internet dw.com/hausa ka fi shirin ya dora za mu tsayarta
wato madalla yanzu kuma shirin zai nufi kasar Ghana inda babbar jami'ar adawa ta kasar NDC ta gabatar da mataimakiyar dan takarar ta na zaben shugaban kasa da za a yi nan da watanni tara masu zuwa inda batun shekarun mataimakiyar dan takarar ke tayar da jijiyoyin wuya daga Accra na kasar gadar wakiliyar mu wato Jamila Ibrahimi zango na dauke da karin bayani gabatar da professor Jin na na ufuku ajiman a matsayin abokiyan tafiya mai dafa masa a zabukan shekarar 2024 da NDC wanda kuma ke kasancewa karo na biyu a zabin nata da John Muhammad yayi kana karon farko da wata babbar jam'iyya a Ghana ta tsayar da mace a matsayin jigo a cikin tafiyarta mashar hanta da dama da uwa uba jam'iyyar MPP dake mulkin kasar na kushe matakin wanda komai ya dalilai Alhaji Aminu Abu na Madina daya daga cikin jami'an MPP na Sadasuwa yayi wa DW bayani mu ba abin da yi mana zafi ko shekaru ko mai aikaki manta an taba zabanta haka aka dauko ta haka kuma suka fadi zaben kazali kama yanzu ma fadi wan za su to amma abin da yasa kika ji ana cece ku ce domin ta girmi shi shugaba Muhammad fa in ma kaddara ya ci wanda ya dauke ta mataimaki yayin shugaban kasar nan so dai fa zai yi mulki fa in ma ya samu shekara hudu dai zai in dai ba canza constitution za su yi saboda haka muna tambaya shin ba matasa ne ko kuma a a da gangan yake yi cewa baya san in shi biye nan domin matan mara ta iya takarar ba kuma a nasa bangare alhaji muhammad nazir saeed mamba ne a cikin manyan jami'an sadarwar jami'ar ndc na kasa ya soki lamirin masharhanta da masuruwa da tsaki da ke kushe zabin da cewa in ka duba shekarun shugaban kasar mu yau kamin ya tsaya takara har a jefa musu kura amma ya yi shugaban kasa akan haka da mu wannan labari bai dame mu ba ai da abin da zai dame mu ne sai mu ji an ce wai ba adila ba ce ko ko a a tara da wani illa wanda yake idan mun zo da ita wannan illa za a yayi aiki da shi jami'an da ke kan sarauta yanzu ba abin da ya dame su sai dai kawai su yi mulki ba sabon jefa kuriya ya zamo tunanin mu ba sabon yanda za a yi a hana cin hanci da rashawa ba mu ji ba wani zance da za ka iya shafa mata na bata sunan ta dole sai a koma kan batun shekaru lakari da sukar zabin na professor jin dangantawa da shekarunta na yi hira da suhail abdul mu'min dan asali mai fashin baki ne a kan amuran siyasar yau da kullun a Ghana dokan kasar Ghana ya bada dama a zabi shugaban kasa dan shine ake zaba mace maki ko ana ba ana yi ni ya wakilci ya dace dai mishi na da kwarewa amma ba ana zabar wanda zai zo ni daga baya ga ji wannan kujerar ba wannan ba gado bane nan Afirka ta yamma mu duba Najeriya wayan da suke makwabtan mu nan kusa so shugaban kasa wa ba san jo yayi aiki da Atiku Abubakar wanda bai zama shugaban kasa ba so rasa ma kujerar sannan Buhari yayi aiki da professor Yemi Osimbaju bai zama shugaban kasa ba shekarun shugaba Amerika na wani yazo haka amma yana ne yana ci daga Accra Ghana Jamila Ibrahim mai zango DW Hausa to yanzu kuma sai kasar Kenya inda ra'ayoyi suka bambanta dangane da aniyar da gwamnatin kasar ta bayyana ta aikawa da daruwan jami'an tsaro musamman ma na yan sanda zuwa kasar Haiti kasar da ta fada cikin wani yanayi na tabarbarewar tsaro ra'ayoyin wasu yan Kenya na cewa kamata ya gwamnatin kasar ta sake kula kanan halin da Haiti ke ciki a yanzu na tamkar babu gwamnati mun taka a hiwa na dauke da karin bayani akan wannan batun a bayan bayan nan kasar Haiti ta saki fadawa cikin yanayi mai muni ta bangaren tsaro abu ma da kai ga tilasta marabus din prime minister kasar dake a yankin karebiya wato Ariel Henry kasar Kenya wace ke a yankin gabashin nahiyar Afirka kuwa a cewar ma'aikatar kula da al'umuran cikin gidanta ta shirya ayarin jami'an yan sanda a kalla dubu guda wadanda za ta aika Haiti domin taimaka kokari na kwantar da ta zo madda ta tashi a can minista harkokin cikin gida a Kenya Kituri Kindiki ya tabbatar da cewa daukar wannan mataki labar da ne domin ganin kasar ta bada agajinta ga Haiti saboda ganin an shawo kan tashin 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 da ta sake fadawa a ciki the status is as you know it there was a small court matter Kindiki na cewa yanayi dai kamar yadda aka sani akwai wata yar matsalar da dama ke a gaban kotu kuma ayi nasarar shawo kan wannan matsala batu ne na cewa akwai bukatar samun amincewar Haiti a rubuci yarjejeniya ce da Haiti ta sanya wa hannu yau mako guda kenan dan haka dai mu mun kintsa mun kuma kammala shirin aikewar da jami'an yan sandan nan wadanda za su taimaka domin murkushe boran 
and they come along the canoe at Dubai, Nagan and Chima Hakan. The status of forces agreement. A chair minister Nakinya Kituri Kindiki, Yansan Dankasar Kenya, Zasi Himatini, Gai Kin Century, Amusama Ura Rima Sahari Ahiti. Sanang Sutemaka, Ayuk and Jinkai, Aura and the Akibugata Aikin Nasu. Se kuma da din dadawa za su bai wa wasu jami'an tsaro a Haiti horo na musamman wani kuma abinda ya dace a ce an lura da shi a wannan lamari shine ba yan sandan Kenya kadai ne za su kai dauki a Haiti ba akwai ma wasu kasashen da suka alƙawar ta bada ta su taimako ta wannan fuskar baya ga ta waga ta musamman ta majalisar dinkin duniya da kuma mutun sulhu ya tsara za a kai and the Samosa Gasar Kenya, Kamarsu Martin Jorogi. On the Dankaswani, the Ugui Bayang, a near of Gomnatin Gasatasa. Musamanganing Takega, Prime Minister Aji Aiki Haiti, Kumayin Hakang Aikini, the Zay Chito Gasara de Ki Kang, a Gaba Rugujewa. Kenyans actually support this peace mission. So I think it's basically. Yeti and Kenyan are going by an Aikin Kia, Zaman Lapia, Haiti, Sana in a Ganon, one of Matasha Chiga, Soran Gasashina, Africa. Ba laifi bane tarihi nuno Kenya ta yi wannan aiki inda ta amince ta taimake Haiti a lokacin da ta shiga mawuyacin hali. Ta agreed to go to Haiti. To amma fa ga mutane irin su Dennis Otieno kamata yayi a yi la'akari da hadarin da ake jefa jami'an tsaron kasar zuwa kasar da ke fama da Dubai bayi a matsayin da ake ciki a yanzu. The idea, it's born by the idea, but minded one side. Ita ni dena ga karancin nazari a wannan tunani. But the Yuba achievements of Edebang may come a sham magani de Bamba. And they deke that Okumutun de Kifama da water dam war. Kuma Akashi in the Akiyaki. To Nimade Mutuns of Indeshida. Sakaras Raikas. So, but is this people have not Janai? So, Ramasanadi Akenya and a Ganin Suma one at the kitchen at Kasar Haiti. In a desert gear Ganin Abuneda, a keg of Marabas Ling Sugar Bang Gomnatin Kasarwa to Paraminista da Kansa. In the day, hiding in a chicken hall in the eco, da was a gung gung, but a gadiki, you were so young, kuna, the dama nata. Ya in kuma, da aki, the wasun su, da saka inisa. A aiking garqua, the mutane, the kashakashi. Se kuma, the nanning hali, na jink aida, a kitchki. Tragida, Muntaka, he had a kuma, one narrow hotel, nasa, nima, kalk, or shanjiro, or hotel, and dama kamuku, china, di, a one nan zong, one kada kumanta, which I got a bayana, rayo, yunku, a shaf, mana, Facebook, danganada, or hotel, and dama kabata. Carpenturing it, ura, zamakaras, I hear tower.